Outside the Saudi consulate in Istanbul, friends and supporters of Jamal Khashoggi continue their vigil. Speaking Friday in Ankara, Turkey's president kept the heat on Riyadh. It's clear that he's been killed. But where is the body? You have to show the body. President Erdogan hopes to damage the global image of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, next in line to the Saudi throne, says Middle East analyst Kyle Orton. And if it makes it difficult for the Saudis to interact with the West, particularly with the Americans, it gives an opportunity to Turkey to step into that gap. Turkey's strategy is rooted in the battle for political leadership of the Muslim world. Since the death of the previous king uh, in Saudi Arabia, uh, Turkey finds itself in alliance with Qatar on the one hand, and then Saudi Arabia is allied with the United Arab Emirates, uh, Egypt, uh, and uh, are kind of constituting two pol polars uh, in uh, regional politics. Those rivalries are being played out on the battlefields of Syria. Alongside the United States, Saudi Arabia is backing the Syrian Democratic Forces, which control much of eastern Syria alongside Kurdish YPG forces. Turkey sees the YPG as terrorists and wants to break that alliance. The YPG PKK issue in Syria is the, the heart of this and it would involve the Americans uh, not abandoning them but rebalancing the relationship between them and Turkey which I don't know that they're particularly going to do. Orton says there are dangers in Erdogan's strategy. It begins to look more and more cynical by the day that you're using a man's assassination to further your foreign policy. Also on the line are Saudi investments in Turkey, estimated at $1 billion in 2017. The risk in that strategy is if Mohammed bin Salman stays in place uh, and if this is turned into a, a bilateral issue between Turkey and Saudi Arabia, which would alienate uh, Saudi investments. Mohammed bin Salman was questioned on relations with Ankara at an investment summit this week. There are many who are trying to utilize this painful event to create a split between the Saudi Arabian Kingdom and Turkey. From this stage, I want to send them a message. You will not be able to achieve this so long as there is a king called Salman bin Abdulaziz. That statement begs the question. What happens to Saudi-Turkey relations when King Salman dies? Analysts say President Erdogan is betting on a long game of damaging the crown prince and leveraging Turkish power in the region. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.